we're here for all eternity just having sex. I mean, I'm not, I'm not really complaining, but... What do we do? Somebody help me. I'm done fucking my bitch. Is this just best ending? It's, it's over? It's done? Is this the end of the game? I can't even, like, reload or anything. I mean, is this it? <laughs> so I have to delete her like Monica? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. I, 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 I gotta, I gotta listen one more time. Here, I'm, I'm, I'm going into my headspace as I listen to this one. All right, we're, we're getting fully immersed here. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, I definitely have a semi right now. Goodbye. Um, Owie, was that you, sweetheart? Hello, I'm coming back in. We're going deep. Owie, Owie! I don't even care about Owie, honestly, anymore. My, t my time spent with Miyuki was just amazing. I have absolutely no complaints. I can die a happy soul. But I guess we're dropping in again, boys and girls. Here we go. Capture me, please, baby. Ohio. What? Hold on! Hold on, it's not capturing! Help me! There we go, that took goddamn forever this time. Oh, hi-yo! Hello! Hello, sweetheart! Hello, my love! Miyuki greets me as she cooks our breakfast. Oh, God. Not another one of these tests. Her tests are hard, man. It, it, it's hard to prove your love to Miyuki nowadays, man. You know, th th this ain't no honey pop quizzes. Those are already tough enough. This, whew, 100 times harder, but I'm ready. I'm determined to prove my love. Test me how. <laughs> Imagine being such a coomer to where you would choose that you love her again. Uh, I can't, I can't. I want to hit yes. I really do want to hit yes, but we, we got to hit her with the no this time. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't like to see her mad or sad, man. I don't, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. I honestly was happy, man. I was. I really was happy. Now... Now everything's all fucked up again. Why can't marriage life just be simple, man? <laughs> no way. I can never accept her love. No question about it. What file? What's up? What's up, Miyuki? Well, I hope you realize just how long I spent saying I love you and how long I spent locking lips with you then as well. Miyuki looks at me as she whispers. But it's like she's not really seeing me at all. Okay. Sure. Alright, we're back again. Where are we dropping, boys? What? What? Where am I? The next thing I know, I find myself lying in the middle of the living room floor. Miyuki's phone is sitting on the table with the game still launched. Oh, right. Sorry. I collapse on the bed and we wake back up again, only to deny her love again once more. We will- Whoa, shit. 
よく分かったかしら私はあなたのこと全部覚えてるんだからもう青いルートみたいなことはしないででもセーブデータが使えないのは不便かなそうよね私に会いに来てくれなくなったら意味がないものね。Stockholm Syndrome。Play nice and she'll give it. わかった。Yes, she'll give us the saves. Yes! セーブデータ。使わせてあげる。Let's go! What's the first thing I'm gonna do with that? Save a file where I get to make out with Miyuki all day. That's how we show her how much we love her. You will save right now, though? Uh, how the fuck do you save? She lied. There is no save button. Miyuki greets me as she cooks her breakfast. Oh, what the hell? These are options that I did not expect at all, but I still can't save. I've just been fully lied to. All right, whatever. Adapt to the new world. <laughs> Escape from the new world. Please give Owie back. Mm. Mm. It's really taking everything in my power to not click adapt to the new world. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Where's my save button, man? I really need it. <sighs> Give me Owie. I just want Owie back so that we can cuck her. Okay? Promise. Please give Owie back. Hmm. Yes, please. I'm begging you. See, the, you gotta get yourself a girlfriend like Miyuki. Completely understanding. I mean, look at that. She's she's perfect. Really? For sure. She admonishes me gently, and I do as she suggests. Shinichi? <laughs> Well, if this ain't a cat mommy, I don't know what is. Hello? What are you doing? What's with the... You know, the get-up. Yeah. Why are you wearing them? I mean, yeah. It is cute. Event CG. This 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 is just a, a legit typo. Is this because the game is breaking down, or did they actually miswrite this? This is not Aoi talking. This is me talking. Behind her, I can see something bobbing up and down. Is that the tail? I reach out and grab it. <laughs> Bro, what is happening? What is happening? Whoa. <laughs> I hear a sudden voice behind me and nearly jump out of my skin. Don't scare me like that. I mean, it was a pretty good sesh. Dude, I gotta say as well, I gotta say as well, there are a lot of women out in this world to where, you know, if you watch anime, you jerk off to a couple of anime girls, they'll be like, Ooh, you have eyes for an anime girl? What's wrong with you? 
You can't jerk off to, to anime porn. It's not allowed. Miyuki, on the other hand, completely understanding. She's like, if you want to bust a nut to Aoi, by all means. You're coming home to me at the end of the day, though. I respect that. I do. I do. Miyuki is growing on me. She is growing on me again. <laughs> Where did that come from? Well, yeah, obviously. She smiles and pats my shoulder. Where am I? The next thing I know, I find myself lying in the middle of the room. Miyuki's phone is sitting on the table. Oh, right, sorry. I collapse onto the bed, and now I get to talk with my waifu. I love that. Not really, no. No, I don't, actually. No, she's not, and neither are you.誰かさんがその世界を歪めてしまったんだって。君は信じられる好きになってくれるわよね。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう。おはよう
Miyuki points to a cat shaped hair peen on the display near the window. Apparently, it's a one of kind handmade item. Next to it is a second, slightly different pin in the same style. Yuki gazes at it, completely besotted. I can see why, too. It's definitely got the classic handmade look to it, and the artist really nailed it, ex nailed it expression. How much is it? There's two. That is a little saucy, I must say. Who's the second hairpin for? Wait, there's two? <laughs> no, I mean, it's fine, but like, I don't, I don't like I'm gonna wear it. I have no answer. Even if I'm not sure why I care about how many there are. Uh, well, well, they're not exactly the same, you see. Which one do you like better? Yay! Don't you be throwing the other one in the good gutter like that? Makes me sad. Oh, okay. I don't see what makes that one so much worse, but clearly she has a reason to feel so strongly about it. I grab it and hurry over to the register. Here's my token of my gratitude. For everything you do for me each day. My wife. <laughs> Aren't you going to wear it? Her smiles bewitchingly cute. Mm -hmm. What the? Where am I? Dude, this is just fucking Monica's room, dude. The next thing I know, I find myself lying in the middle of the living room. Yuki's phone is sitting on the table with the game still launched. Alright, sorry. <sighs> ah, my favorite part of the day. Nighttime, where I get to spend some alone time with my wife. Mm, Yuki! ミキ。ねえ、君。今日はどうしてヘアピンが2つあることを聞いたのかしら。変な選択肢を選ぶから、新一ったらどうやってお話の整合性をつければいいか。We uh, do do a little bit of trolling, I'm sorry. うん。わかってるわよ。あなたが聞きたいのは、どうして青いルートでヘアピンが1つしかなかったか、でしょ? まあ、もう忘れちゃってるかもしれないけど。どうしてヘアピンが一つ減ったと思う本当はもう分かってるわよね。私が隠したからだよ。もしかしたら後で役に立つかもしれないと思って。マンションに乗り込んだ時、私があらかじめ用意してたヘアピンを置かなかったら、あなたは青いを信じようとしたかもしれないでしょ。まあ、もう済んだことだけれど、ね。Yeah, life's all good. I forgive her. What the hell? All right, apparently if I hit a uh, right mouse button, maybe we'll get some extra dialogue. Hello. We do not. And there's still no save button. I don't understand. Like, did she literally just lie or am I stupid as shit? So weird. Hmm. Miyuki greets me as she cooks brekkie. Um, okay. Well, I, I guess we're... Gonna hit escape again and see what happens. Let's full send it. あ、そうだ。今日は私と君の特別な記念日なんだけど。おお。何の日か知ってる？あ、it's our one week anniversary. 
I checked the date on the calendar, but I still have no clue. It's the one year anniversary where I killed Aoi. Hey, that's actually, like, kind of odd. Because... No, that, that's not true, actually, okay. It was, like, eight days ago when I uh, actually got to this part of the game. But eerily close. Yeah, I guess. When we first started living in the same apartment, it got fairly awkward at times. But at this point, I'd say I'm starting to get used to it. Kissy? Present? Ooh. She gazes at me passionately and draws close. I can't possibly refuse. Don't you whisper in my ear like that? Oh, back in school. I don't know where Miyuki calls out to me in the classroom. She points to a desk in the corner of the room. Now that I think about it, it's been unused for quite a long time. Okay. Can't say no to the class president, after all. Thanks. She grabs the chair and together we haul out the desk into the hallway. Our destination, the roof. Oh, we're just gonna chuck Owie's desk over the roof now, too? You just throw it, you know, just throw it. <laughs> oh, made it. Once we finally make it to uh, up the flight of stairs, I set the desk down on the roof. Little do we know, this is actually like the 100th timeline of us doing that, and all those piled up desks back there are all owie desks. Miyuki sets the chair down beside it. There's an entire pile of unused desks here. Some of them have rusted over from exposure to the elements. Hey! I disagree! Every desk has a purpose. Every desk should be loved. I'm sure that desk has something engraved into it. Maybe even if it's a wooden desk like it has, you know, Shininchi plus Aoi and it has a heart drawn around it. Wouldn't that be special? It's got sentimental value, you know? Memories of the last person who used it. You can't exactly call that trash. Well, I racked my brain. Mm. No dice. I can't remember. Well then, no wonder I couldn't remember. Yuki hoists herself to sit on top of the desk and crosses her legs. Her skirt flutters in the breeze and I feel my gaze almost magnetically drawn to her. Please, please, no. Do not say that. You know what you're inferring, you fucking succubus. I wasn't looking. Uh oh. <laughs> this town sucks balls because Aoi's not here. I've never really given it any thought. It's not a big city. It's like a actually like a, like a pretty big city actually, but it's not some country village either. Just an ordinary town. The kind of town you'd find just about anywhere. Well, I'm not particularly in love with it, but I've lived here all my life, so I guess I can't really hate it. I guess. What about you? Skio, I was born and raised in a town. So no other possibility is there. Her whisper sounds a little sad, almost. Okay. 
We lock the roof behind us and head back to the classroom. Mm. Hello! The next thing I know, I find myself in the living room. Miyuki's phone sitting on the table. Alright, sorry. Alright, my favorite part of the day is back again. Hey, what? No! Where was my special alone time with Miyuki? It's literally the, the, the thing that gives me life nowadays. Speak to me, my love, please. You know, I feel like I'm getting cucked by Shinchi at this point. I don't even get to talk to her anymore. Miyuki greets me as she cooks our breakfast. Load my memories with Aoi. Save my memories with Miyuki. Continue? What the hell? I assume continue just means, like, do some of this stuff that we've been doing again. So I assume these are, like, the two top choices are the ones that actually progress the plot. So, like... Save my memories with Miyuki. Load my memories with Aoi. Load my memories with Aoi. See, but isn't save objectively better than loading? Okay, so I load Aoi's memories. Miyuki has revoked our save file. We can't even save those memories once they get loaded onto our brain, man. Whatever, just hard send me. Okay. Miyuki bites back a smile. All right, let's go. Hmm, what's wrong? Yeah? But you're so good at it. God, I never thought it'd be so boring to hang out with your girlfriend. Huh. <laughs> Most days, Miyuki asks, acts like the perfect student. But when it comes down to it, it's just an act. Deep down, she's still as antisocial as she was in grade school. You can be a real troublemaker, you know that. Skipping school is for fools. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, I'm a good kid. Skipping school is for fools. I have a reputation to maintain. Even though, like, Miyuki definitely has more of a reputation to maintain, but you know. If I'm going to be seen as a worthy candidate for Miyuki's affection, I need to put my best foot forward at all times. I'll let the teacher know you'll be absent. You have fun. What? You have attachment issues, woman. Miyuki strides away, her head held high. Uh, okay. I guess she doesn't hate Jim as much as she claims to. Curse myself for my stupidity, I chase after her down the stairs. Woo! Hello! We're back! Wait room! Let's go! Alright, bedtime, 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 bedtime. What the fuck? Why is Miyuki ignoring me? She's not picking up my phone calls anymore. Fuck, man. Miyuki greets me as she cooks our breakfast. Escape from the apartment. Get, get, get me the fuck out of here, bro. This is getting boring as hell. Oh. oh my god! What the fuck is the point of this? 
Leave me alone, woman. Muki, the truth is, I've always loved you. It's just really starting to lose meaning. <laughs> On stage, Muki and I stand face to face. Here we are at the climatic final scene. We're both putting in our in our all for the rehearsals. This is an original script penned by Miyuki herself. It's titled Pandemonium. It's a fairly straightforward love triangle story. The lives of a student and his estranged childhood friend are turned upside down when a female transfer student A turns up. Her eccentric behavior and fake persona win sympathy and affection from the protagonist, Shinichi. <laughs> Sorry, Shinji. As the story progresses, however, female transfer student A's lies are exposed, and she's revealed to be a villain who misleads men. The story concludes with the protagonist falling in love with his supportive childhood friend. On stage, Miyuki and I gaze into each other's eyes, inches apart. <laughs> Fuck yeah. What? That's not in the script? <laughs> Miyuki whispers so that only I can hear. Fuck yes, bro. I can't I can't deny a kiss. For her request, I press my lips to hers. I feel like by choosing kissing her, I just went backwards in the plot. But uh listen. I must act on my urges. I don't know what to tell you. What the? Where am I? A white room? Alright, come on, Miyuki. I'm getting real goddamn tired of this. You better talk to me tonight. You're not answering any of my calls or texts. Come on! Uh, continue Miyuki's route. Choose Aoi's route. Ugh, I, I, I got I got a press to Aoi's right. I have to. I gotta see. Uh, you know, technically, I didn't even get to finish Aoi's route. Miyuki, you cocked me in the very end. I want to finish Aoi's route, and then I'll come back to you. But I gotta finish her route. So, <sighs> Ooh, I'll cook this time. Let's order some takeout. Yo, they got Grubhub nowadays? In this universe? Um, I assume this probably doesn't matter very much. I mean, I don't really feel like cooking if I'm being fully honest with you. Let's get some takeout. That way, maybe we can have some human contact, you know what I mean? Why don't we order some takeout? I just feel bad having you cook for me all the time. But I've never cooked in my life, so... Dude, this is when we're gonna phone up, you know, uh... Uh, our best friend's, uh, convenience store. We're gonna be like, alright... You're gonna dress Aoi up in a worker's uniform. You're gonna send her over, man. She's gonna open up the door. I'm gonna see her. I'm gonna make a love, sweet love to her in the front door when Miyuki's out in the bathroom. And she's gonna walk in. The whole fucking world is gonna explode. That's our only hope, man. I flipped through a stack of flyers and coupons. Sushi, pizza, Chinese. Of these, Miyuki would probably prefer. Uh, I guess I'll order the Chinese then. You said you haven't uh, quite got the hang of making it at home, right? Muki beams. That smile makes ordering takeout totally worth it. Feeling pleased with myself, I call up the restaurant. Oh, we're back again. Hello. 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 Go on, tabe te sugu ne. Neru nara beto de nete chodai. Yeah, okay. Bedtime. Oh my god, really? Ohayo. 
今日はどうしようかしら Raise Miyuki's affection points. Raise Aoi's affection points. Miyuki's already stacked, bro. Aoi needs some loving. Dude, this is never fucking ending. I thought once Miyuki changed the fucking game, we wouldn't get so goddamn repetitive like we did in the original game. And we're still just going in circles. Oh my god. Holy shit. I can't take this. I fucking can't take this. Is it time to leave school? Let's get the fuck out of here. Let's go play some video games. Alright, let's go. Hmm? What's wrong? Yeah. We literally already played through this! I get, you know what, fuck, is skipping schools for fools? I feel like this is the right answer. We're doing it again. What the hell? Now we have the option to protect Miyuki or fight her? <laughs> Wait and see. Uh, what? Uh... Fight Miyuki? Yeah, I mean, every time we choose one of these top two answers, it's always just like, <laughs> you thought you had a choice? Can we save? We cannot save. There's a restart button, which is fucking weird. Whoa. This looks whack as hell. Oh, wait, isn't that interesting? Do you see that? For individual character voice settings, all there is is Miyuka, Miyuko, Miyuki, Yutaro, Haru, and Misk. We don't even have an owie in here anymore. What the fuck? Oh. Okay, so this is just, like, when we were on the route with Miyuki. These are, like, all of the, you know, important moments. Why does this say, at the corner store, dot, 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 dot? I feel like that, or show down at the batting cages. Sounds like we can throw hands. Is there a specific one to click? Should I even click these? I don't know. We're gonna go into the study session. <laughs> Yuki and I sit across from each other. Between us, our notebooks lay open. We're busy working on our homework. Hmm? Oh, that one? Upon first glance, Miyuki appears to have mastered every school subject. But in truth, she has one weakness. Biology. She don't understand how the PP works. So I'm helping her out. <laughs> For this one, this goes here. And then you substitute that. I've always been a pretty good teacher. With my guidance, Miyuki solves the problem in a flash. Our pens fly over the paper. I can feel her breath from across the table. Hmm? Uh, just try and focus, alright? She shoots me a guilty grin as the pin falls still. Alright, 
So that's what she was after. As she jumps to her feet, hmm? Her phone tumbles out of her pocket. I quietly peer into the dining room. Quick, call the police. Apparently, she stopped by the restroom on her way to the kitchen. Seems like she'll be gone for a while. Oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah, this is it, kid. It seems my curiosity's gotten the better of me. I sur sur surreptitiously take the phone and... <laughs> go through the photos, go through her address book, launch the game. I think we gotta launch the game. God, I wish there was a save option. Launch me. Launch me, baby. I select the game from the app screen. Oh my god, we're fucking in, kid. Hi. Haru-chan. Hmm? Na we get to watch Haru and Aoi have sex again? Once again, Aoi raised her hand into the air, as she always does. Aoi to Echi. Her eyes were swimming with desire. I didn't have rehearsal today, and so she'd been desperate to see me. She insisted on coming over to my house. Was she angling for this right from the start? What, what is this? The next thing I know, Miyuki's sitting next to me on the couch, looking over my shoulder at the phone screen. Haru-chan. I know someone named Haru in the theater club in real life, but she's most definitely a girl. Meanwhile, the Haru-chan in the game is every bit as meek as her. He's definitely a guy. Wait. What? This character romances people besides the protagonist? I couldn't stop myself from asking. Senpai, we don't know that yet. Also, it's kind of funny because, like, we talk about how she's so easy, yet she is by far, like, the hardest one to actually wife. Miyuki, on the other hand, you could just fucking... You just stand there idly and choose no options and you'd end up with her, man. Miyuki's route is 99.9999% bulletproof, man. You're falling into that route, whether you pick up a fucking crayon or you, you know, open up a bottle of Coke. What does that mean? It means any small option you make in life, it doesn't matter at all, feeds back to Miyuki, okay? Hmm. <laughs> Oh, shit. What did she exactly say? She's gonna kiss him when she doesn't even like? Yeah, I mean, she probably will. <laughs> but, like, that doesn't mean she's a bad person. But she's probably gonna get down and dirty. I don't know, at this point, well... ね。ここまで来てやめるなんて不自然すぎるもの。もしも彼女が好きなら、今すぐロード画面を開いて。isn't it obvious? I wouldn't be clicking through the text if I wasn't interested in seeing where this scene goes. There's no porn in this goddamn house, you know what I mean? Gotta get it from somewhere. Her smile was so bright. I couldn't resist her any longer. Blushing Miyuki stares down at me. うん。あ、あのね、恥ずかしがらなくてもいいと思うのよ。だって、この 
このヒロイン最低ね。She does not belong in D tier. No! Definitely. It's impossible to fall in love with a 2D character in the first place. <laughs> But they laugh. See, this is why we just let Shininchi and Miyuki just have their fucking little rendezvous and we just leave, bro. Let's just get out of here. This is not my story anymore. Obviously. Oh, good morning. Good morning. Hello. 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 We're back. Yo, apparently that was all skippable. Um, Aoi stared with Ryujiro. She left. She left, bro. She obviously left. We know what happened. The cat hairpin was on the ground. And that was implanted. I don't know what that has to do with anything. She wasn't there. We went there and she wasn't there. Gojo <sighs> あのゲームの中で見せた葵の姿がフィクションだとしても別の世界にいた葵はああいうことをしていたの別の世界で何度も何度も男にまたを開いたのよ君も彼女の口からそれを聞いたでしょそんな女を愛し続けられるはずないわ
Still, it seems like Shinichi actually cares about me. I'm a little surprised. 3-2. Shinichi gave me a hairpin! Truth be told, it's not really my style. I know it doesn't suit me, but I'm gonna treasure it anyway. I'll take good care of it for the rest of my life. Forever and ever! Aoi's so lucky. Wish I could rock the look like she does. 3 13. Aoi left the manga cafe to rescue an abandoned kitten, so Shinichi and I went looking for her. We searched the whole town until we found her on the school grounds after hours. At that point, I thought to myself, maybe it's okay for me to just be honest about how I really feel. Maybe it's okay to Shin tell Shinichi, I thought. But then Aoi interrupted me before I could. She collapsed and Shinichi ended up walking her back to the manga cafe, leaving me to go home by myself. Then I heard the phone ringing in the distance. I followed the ringing. And wouldn't you know it, I found Aoi's cell phone lying there. She probably dropped it when she was staggering out of the front door. So I picked it up and immediately did a double take. It was a call from God. Looking back, I'm not sure why I decided to answer that call, but I did. And the instant I did, something took root in my heart. I started thinking, maybe God really does exist. 313. I couldn't believe it. What was with that visual novel? It was nearly identical to the real world. Would those same events play out in real life too? Even the ending? I decided to ask Shinichi about it at school the next day. 313. So I went home and downloaded the game on my phone. Then I played through it just to check. But the game isn't a reflection of reality. Reality is a reflection of the game. Going forward, I'll have to forget everything I thought I knew. That is the only path to my happiness. And the only way I'll end up with Shinichi in this world. 313. Today I spent the night with Shinichi for the first time. I was really nervous and embarrassed, and I thought I was going to die. But Shinichi didn't turn away from the real me. I felt joy fill my entire body. I knew that I no longer needed to anything else but this. I love you. So please, promise me you'll never let me go. 313. How to preserve memories. Call God equals save. Always an event collection device. As an avatar, she requires energy, what she calls battery power, to maintain her existence. Likewise, having the game also requires energy, and it involves calling God. No energy required to receive a call. Always right. The roof gets the best reception. As a human, I don't need energy to exist. It still costs me to save. It still costs me to save the game, but it's not too devastating. The key is the SIM card. The SIM card is more important than the phone itself. The SIM card allows for my photos to carry over. As long as I take photos of my diary, no matter what route I end up on, I can keep a record of events. Three nine. Teen. Yesterday, you betrayed me. I waited so long for you at the batting cages and you ignored me. You went to go off to be with Aoi. You were trying to get on her route. Unacceptable. Absolutely unforgivable. You confessed your love to me. You pledged your internal love to me. 3 2 honey. Today I killed Shinichi. <laughs> oh my god. You probably hate me for that. But it's your fault. And you pledged your love to me. And then you turn around and cheat on me with Aoi. This is all your fault for dicking around with that tramp. 326. I've been living with Shinichi for three weeks. We flung that phone and all the awful memories off the school roof and now we're starting our new life together. I know what I'm doing is sick and wrong. Truth be told, I don't really want to use sedatives. I don't really want to mess with the routes. But if I don't, you'll leave me. You'll abandon me in all my lonesome and run off with some other ending. So this is my only option. Wow. What's this? What? What the hell? Uh, uh, I was so shook I accidentally pulled up the, the, the logs. <laughs> no, listen, I didn't look through it. She's right. Her diary entries made absolutely zero sense to me. Okay, I'm, I'm a little intrigued now. I'm feeling like we might be able to pull ourselves out of this absolutely insane hellhole that we're a part of. What do we do next is the question, though. Please help me. 
The next I know, I'm finding myself on the living room floor. The phone sitting on the table. It's not healthy to pass out. Cool, cool. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, what the fuck? We're going to bed again? Hold on. How the fuck would anyone figure out how to do this? I don't understand. Maybe there's something like in the files to where you can figure out how to like choose the certain things. I don't know. Otherwise, you're going to spend like 20 hours with this dumb bitch. Okay. All right, we're holding hands at school now. Ohayo. Hello, Muki. Hello, hello. Morning. Students wave hello to each other on their way to school. Since Muki and I live in the same house, naturally we take the same route to school. We walk straight there, no detours. Shinichi. Oh, what's up? Uh, ano ne? Muki walks by my side. I love it. It's the best idea you've literally ever had in your life. I lower my gaze. Yeah, well, since I really want to do it and you don't, I mean, I guess, like, we're just gonna have to break up. I mean, it's just a difference of opinion, unfortunately. Bye, Felicia! Oh, god damn it. She, she conceded. Fuck! The question is, is do we move in closer or do we move away? We move away. I know what she's after. This dick. But I quietly move away. It's too early in the morning to get all clingy with each other. Ohayo. Just then, we're interrupted by one of our fellow theater club members, Haru-chan. <laughs> what, did you, did you need something? <laughs> Dude, something tells me that, like, Miyuki... During all these theater practices, she's like, If you get fucking close to my man, Shininchi, I'm gonna rip your vagina out of its... Body. I'm gonna rip your uterus out, you stupid bitch. That's why she gets all nervous when she's around me. She's like, oh, bye! She knows she must swerve. Sayonara! Goodbye forever? That's a little heartbreaking. Shit, this was like the only inter interaction we had with any other human besides fucking Miyuki for the past goddamn ten hours. Don't leave! No! Don't leave me with her! No! No! Hold it! Do you just trip over thin air? Man, you're always such a clutch. Mm. Yuki purses her lips and glares at Haruchan. She then takes a step forward towards me. Mm -hmm. What? And firmly grasps my hand. Ouch! What? But, uh, but, but. And so, with my hand in Miyuki's vice grip, we continue on our way to the school gates. I see. So are these things that, like, technically happened, but they just got cut out of the story? Because I believe when we did that part, it still said that she held our hand in a vice grip. Is it, like, actually not the easiest thing to go down Miyuki's route, but she's trying so goddamn hard to craft realities where we just fall into it. But now that we're fighting back, it's not falling all into place. That's kind of cool. Alright. Send me back. Send me back. Send me back. Memories. Male friendship versus female friendship. Morning. Oh, please stop. Seriously, cut it out. Dude, knock it off. Want to see some pics of Miyuki waking up in the morning? Ah, Yutro, he always, he always helps lift the spirits. He really does. Good. That was scary. I thought he was glitching out for a second there. <laughs> Don't got any. She killed me if I tried, bro. 
seriously quit calling me that. Actually, I do have some, though. But Miyuki caught me in the act, and as for my punishment, she took pics of me sleeping. Then she told me if I ever shared the photos I took, she'd do the same with hers. Now, I'm not sure I want to cross that bridge. Ever. Well, it's like not even that weird. Basically, every streamer is doing sleeping streams now, so... Who would have thunk that we went from, like, reaction streams to now just, like, everybody's doing unlimited subathon streams? Thank God I did it when it was cool. Now it's just, like, a regular Saturday afternoon for a streamer to do, a like, a 40-hour stream. I don't understand. It's absolutely insane. It seems so unhealthy. Uh, yeah, yeah. We are acting kind of strange. Well, uh, I mean, what about you, huh? Well... Ask about Haru? Ask about Aoi. I assume we're probably gonna ask about Aoi? Yeah, it just seems like we're trying to fuck up literally every memory that Miyuki has ever had. Just make it all shitty and gross and yucky. I'm talking about Aoi, obviously. Huh? Oi, my lord! I have seen a lot of those, though. You, you, like, go on one of those websites, and yeah, it's just like, Muko Aoi's vagina for eight bucks. And I'm like, how, how is this her vagina? I don't understand. How, how, do we have the science to prove that this is her vagina? The interior design is truly like this? I don't get it. Right, of course not. Yuchiro storms off and huffs back to his desk. Eh, apparently. Eh, we're just screwing around. I'll never understand our relationship if I'm being fully honest with you. Well, what are girl friendships like? Oh, wait, you've never had any. <laughs> Yuki pauses to think for a moment. What? How so? Jeez, hmm? really? Yuki seems a little smug somehow. I guess she only sees school as a place to practice her acting skills. Once again, I'm reminded of how much she needs me around. Hello! We're back! We're back! We're back! Hello! New memory deep dive? Are, are we truly just going down the line here? Is lunchtime on the roof next? Oh my god, I hope not. <laughs> That's so much grinding. These are quick, though. I think we can make this out in like an hour, and then finish. Hopefully. If not, I don't know what we're gonna do. So let's be a speedrunner. It's the only option. Send me in. Nom 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 nom. Perfect. It's beautiful. Super tasty. As usual, I have no complaints with the lunch she made. The taste alone is enough to make me smile. Man, your ginger fried pork is like top tier. Oh, I can't believe my favorite food just happens to be your specialty. It's like fate or something. Oh my gosh, you're crazy. I love you. Really? Damn. Damn, she is such a sweaty little grinder sweat lord. She really is. Dang, I guess Miyuki can do anything she puts her mind to. Still, I'm impressed you knew it was my favorite. Mm, yabaris! Of course I know, obviously. Please tell me yabaris is an answer, please. Your favorite food is... 
Yes, no, 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 it's not sweets. It's yabetis. Sorry. What is your favorite dessert anyway, though? Never really liked pudding that much, to be honest. Such a kid answer. Though I would love to just swim in a giant bucket of pudding. Is it weird? Like, I, I, I want to swim in something that is, like, not something that's naturally swimmed in. It doesn't even matter what it is, really. I just want to swim in something weird. Pudding will do. Jello will do. You'd probably, like, die. If you tried to go swim, if you just got, like, dropped in pudding, you'd probably just die, huh? Because I don't, you can't really, like, probably swim through that. You'd probably just sink to the bottom and fucking suffocate unless you can eat it all. A pool of marshmallows, not bad as well. Okay, then what foods do you hate? Yeah, Orbeez is, is always a classic as well. Sure, I mean, you can eat it, but surely there's got to be something you'd rather avoid. Yuki pauses to think about it for a while, but then looks up at me. Yeah, I really hate fatty foods. I'm there with you. I see. Yabberies! She holds up a can of yabberies, tomato juice. Uh, obviously, we drink in that yabberies, my dude. I'll take the tomato juice. I can still drink it, though, and it's probably good for you. Yep, that's all it is. Just trying to be healthy. Promise it's nothing to do with, like, slighting all of your perfect, beautiful memories that you've built with me. Mm. 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 Oof. I grimace at the taste. Yeah, but it tastes like Aoi's pussy, though, so I like it. You're not wrong. I mean, why'd you even buy it in the first place? Yeah, I can imagine. I don't know anyone who likes this stuff. Alright, uh, we're back, we're back. God damn, we're, we're an epic speedrunner right now. Okay. We going down into reversal. Re re rehearsal, boys. We're gonna hit her with a reversal. She's gonna expect an answer. We're gonna flip the script on her. Absolutely destroy her life. Here we go. Miyuki, the truth is, I've always loved you! Next answer, JK button. On stage, Miyuki and I stand face to face. Here we are at the climatic final scene. We're both putting it all into our rehearsal. Yeah, we've already done this, but this time we don't kiss this stinky hoe. Didn't we agree to save it for the debut performance? Yeah, sure, sure, yeah, whatever. When the time comes, for sure. She looks up at me and I nod. Oh man, that was a true speed run that time. That was absolutely banging. That was beautiful. All right, a sweet treat. Just hit me with it. Just freaking hit me with it. Yo, all good. Hey, uh, I got some ice cream. Awesome, thanks. She hands me a vanilla ice cream sandwich. Sweet, that's my favorite. What'd you get? Mickey pulls out a watermelon popsicle for herself. Mmm, that's nice. It's, it's a great choice. You sure you won't get fat? Wanna go halfsies? Um... I assume I'm supposed to say the fat one. I mean, that sounds... I pretty much you just choose... You either choose the answer, that's the dick answer, and if there's no dick answer, then you just choose the answer that reminds you of Aoi. That, that, that's, that's just what you do. That is the meta. You sure you won't get fat? Uh, that's not what I've heard. I've heard you you pack quite the tummy if you eat a couple of ice creams, Miyuki. Sure you're going to be able to fit into that uniform and outfit for the play? Mm. You little fat piggy. Come on, wink for me, you slut. Okay, maybe I'm taking it a little far, but come on. I mean, she's, she's fucking asshole, man. Gotta get out of here. I will do anything it takes. 
You do? Since when? That's, that's the, like honestly an even better fucked up response. What, you have a fast metabolism? Pfft, since when, you liar? Since recently, oh. How'd that happen? Oh, so you binge yourself and then you, 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 you like, you, you throw up and that's, that's horrible. Why would you do that? What kind of weird diet is she on now? How much do you weigh these days, anyhow? Yo, this is a honey pop question right here. Yuki suddenly starts to practice her baseball swing in my direction. N nonsense honestly, you're so slim I can hardly see the need. For a second thought, I thought she was going to smash my face in. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not really. If it was a friend or something, nah, not really. Miyuki declares flatly. Alright, we back, we back, we back. Let's do it. I'm feeling confident. I think we just know how to do this. That was, uh, that was her... No, that was, that was Sweet Treat, yeah. A date at Catnip. I think we also did this one. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, and this one, I think we're pretty confident. I mean, it's, it's the kitty onesie, like no shit. Yeah, you ask if there's two. Super simple as well. And we're feeling good. I mean, we're feeling really good about that one. Bookstore, send me. The music is starting to get a little spooky and weird. No, oh, no, it's fine. With our shopping done, we meet up outside of the bookstore. Wanted to buy a book for myself anyway. I reach into my shopping bag and pull out. Cat owner's manual. Uh, this one confuses me a little bit because I'm like, um... When Aoi went shopping, she bought the cooking manual and then she also bought the cat owner's manual. The cooking manual? Because that was like the secret one. Like, I always secretly bought this to make me a meal. It's hard to really associate that with like Aoi Cuck though, because, you know, Miyuki is also the one that cooks all the time. I guess because it's cooking 101. Miyuki doesn't need the 101. That makes sense. She, she, her gamer brain. She, she's on cooking, you know, 1000, not 101. Miyuki's expression darkens slightly. Oh. Yeah, go back to cooking 101, bitch. No, 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 that's not it at all. I just feel bad having you cook for me all the time. Oh, the worst, dude. Not allowing Miyuki to cook food for us anymore. It's a final linchpin. But... No! Something about her hard objection gives me pause. You know, you always get so stubborn when it comes to cooking. Eh? So? Yeah, is there like a reason you can't compromise with me on this? Like, what the hell? So I'll probably never cook as well as you do, but I still want to do this for you. Please? Yuki reluctantly relents. So, what'd you get? What? She pulls out the witch's guide to black magic. That's wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> Seems a little weird, but okay. I had no idea she was into that kind of stuff. Almost feels like she's hiding something from me. That said, I can tell from the size of the bag she's holding that she definitely bought at least one other book. What about the other one? Oh, oh, this? <laughs> of course, of course. Making a video game or something? Yeah, yeah, something like that, you know. So, what's that in the middle then? Night. Night! How to win a man's heart, 101? Night. Hmm, now what sort of book would she want to hide from the store clerk? 
Oh, that reminds me, you mentioned something in class the other day. Something about this month's issue of some magazine featuring a sexy photo collection? <laughs> of course not, you never buy anything like that. <gasps> Yuki's face flushes bright red and she falls silent. I'm a merciful man, so I'll let her off the hook. Just then, Yuki turns away and mutters underneath her breath just loud enough for me to hear. Don't say stuff like that and talk in that type of way. You're gonna make me fall back in love with you. I've had enough of your fucking shit, though, so I won't. But, it was valid attempt. Valid attempt. Oh no, anything but that. Okie day, okie day, okie day, okie day. Alright, um, now we are, uh, yeah, showdown of the batting cages. <sighs> Yuki's buy flies off. Uh, the ball flies up, tracing a lazy arc in the air and smacks into the double target. <sighs> <laughs> Sucks for you. I will absolutely obliterate you, Miyuki. Yes. Yes. I grabbed the bat, resting it against the wall. I mean, <laughs> grabbing the bat that was resting against the wall. Tonight we rented out the batting cages just for ourselves. What a wholesome date. Our home run competition is officially underway. The prize? The loser has to do anything the winner says. Ooh, the stakes do be high. Miyuki puts a pitcher glove on and then walks up to the pitching machine. Wait, you're gonna pitch to me? Yuki definitely has the talent to pull off anything she puts her mind to, and that includes pitching. The cages are meant for batting! Besides, she's still in her school unit. Whoa! Strike! What was I supposed to do with that fastball? That was a freaking Masakari pitch! Give me a break! As with her swing, her pitching form is effortlessly breathtaking. Naturally, her speed can't compete with the pitching machine, but she's still quite impressive. Honestly, this might actually be a lot harder to hit a home run now. I hastily get in my batting stance. Whoa! The ball grazes past my cheek. What the fuck? If I'd been a sp even a split second slower, it could have struck me right in the face. What? Despite her nominal apology, it's obvious she aimed near my head on purpose. What? And we're just like cool with that? Damn it. First she goes for an inside pitch to freak me out, then an outside pitch I can barely reach. It takes everything I've got just to hit it. She wasn't kidding. She really is giving me all she's got. She winds up. I'm done for. This is Miyuki we're talking about. I'm at the end of my rope. But that's when I realize. All the time I've spent together. All the time we've spent together has given me the clues I need to protect this last pitch. Oh, this is ultimate gamer move. She's a perfectionist. And so her final throw, she'll choose her signature pitch. A screwball! Sure enough, the baseball collides with my bat and flies up, glowing pale white as it carves into the arc through the night sky. Hell yeah! It smacks the target dead center. I taught you that pitch way back when, remember? I figured you'd go that route to make me strike out. Leave me the fuck alone? Whatever I ask, hmm? Well, it was a narrow victory. Surely I can get away with just asking for something a little ballsy. And in that case, only one thing comes to mind. I want Miyuki. I want Owie! Oh, I mean, come on, they, they said we're getting ballsy here, kid. We're, we, we're wishing on a star here, baby. Let's do it. 
I want Owie now. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, her. Obviously. I thought he'd to show. Owie's the heroine in a game called You and Me and Her. And when I say I want her, what I mean is. There's this hug pillow I've been wanting to buy. <laughs> yeah, and then I also want you to buy her own a hole so I can strap it inside of the body pillow and fuck it instead of you. I know, it's pretty degenerate, but... You know, if you want to be with me, always got to continue to compromise, you know? Mm, well. She looks pretty scandalized. Do you have any idea how embarrassing it would be to ask this? I mean, come on, don't look at me like that. <laughs> what? Rehabilitate me how? Ah! Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. I am weak-willed. Oh my god, I built so much resolve up, but it, the, the walls are cracking. They're breaking down, dude. Really? Oh, shit. Is it just my imagination playing tricks on me, or do I sense something wicked hiding behind her smile? It ends there?! What?! 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 I'm in jail! I'm in jail! With Owie! We're in horny jail! Summoned by a familiar voice, my consciousness drifts to the surface. Oh, is that you? Am I dreaming? Holy shit. Did not expect that one. That is so fucked. Oh my god. What kind of relationship do I have with this woman for her to go through the lengths of doing this and just feel no shame? Oh my lord. Huh? I'm so confused. Is that... Miyuki's voice? God, what a good girlfriend, though. Cosplay. I mean, that is the step, man. If you fall into the degenerate 2D rabbit hole, man, how do you pull a guy out of that? You start by cosplaying the character they jerk off to, man. Like, it, it really is, like, kind of the best strat. How did she make herself shorter and less curvy? <laughs> Don't be hitting me with no noodles right now. Aoi, wait! This is so goddamn weird. Uh, okay. She may look like Aoi right now, but she's still um, Miyuki on the inside. So it makes sense to call her by her actual name, I guess. Miyuki, what are you doing? Miyuki, this is not a true statement, okay? You can't use Aoi's own plot device on yourself. It's unfair, it's twisted and fucked up. Uh, 
Miyuki. If I remember correctly, there's a similar scene in that one visual novel, You and Me and Her. Aoi was a blank slate created by God. As a romance option, she was born purely for consumption. A sad story, really. She traveled from world to world, changing forms each time, being romanced by dozens of protagonists. Because if she didn't, she would cease to exist. But this Aoi is just Miyuki in cosplay. She's not actually going to disappear if she doesn't kiss me. Evidently, that's not stopping her, though. She bends forward, pressing her lips to mine, and then embraces me. As she whispers, as her whisper tickles my ear, my consciousness slowly fades, and I descend into a peaceful darkness. Shinichi? Mm hmm Miyuki? Suddenly my consciousness returns. It's evening now, and the sun's starting to set. What was I doing just now? どうして？どうして君は私を裏切ったの？はあ？どうしてそんなに私を嫌うの？ What? I don't hate you. あなたには聞いてない。What? Who is she mad at then? And how the fuck does she know that literally this is when I started to get detached and seriously fall out of love with her? What the fuck? How does she know? Miyuki, uh, stop it. Oh god. I can't even f pull a farce anymore, man. You want me to kiss you? ちゃんとしてくれたら今までのあなたの態度は全部なかったことにしてあげる。好感度をゼロに戻して、フラグも全部白紙にして、最初からやり直しましょう。最初から。そう。余計なキャラが現れず、私たち二人だけの世界が始
Jesus. Bye. All right, Al, will you recall my name? I'm coming back, girlfriend. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. Hold on. Let me just launch you up real quick. Come on. Let's go. Give me my local neighborhood cutie back, Owie. That's all we need, man. Can't we just be friends? Can't we be happy and get along and just smile and have fun? Man. Oh. <laughs><笑><笑> I'm sorry, I just can't go through all of that again. I, I don't want to restart. If we could just kiss here and then just like continue from here, I maybe would be interested. I'm just, I'm, I'm not repeating this. I can't do it. Kill her! Yuki brings her bat down, but there's hesitation in her swing. Reflexively, I lean back, dodging the bat by a hair's breadth. The table breaks. My untouched miso soup flies in the air. The bat flies out of her hand and onto the floor. My brain screams at me to make a run for it, so I dash out the front door. What the fuck is that? But my shoes aren't there. They're in a box somewhere. And there's a heavy padlock on the doorknob. Yeah, more like 50 of them. It's not to keep the intruders out. It's to keep prisoners in. Her shadow looms over me from behind. I can see she's holding her dented metal bat. <laughs> Thinking quickly, I deflect her bat with an umbrella that was hanging near the door. A dull impact resounds through my fingers, but I don't have time to care about that right now. I slam my body into her and send her toppling backwards. <laughs> Miyuki's always been the athletic type, but as a guy, I do have the upper hand. I pin her down on the floor, and then I kill her. We don't fuck. That is not the answer, Rar. Then I use my free hand to root her around her pockets, searching for the key to the padlock. I will if you calm down. Liar. Why the hell are you so mad anyway? What makes you think I wouldn't? This is you and me we're talking about. Haven't we known each other all this time? Yeah. So just calm down, would you? Just talk to me and tell me what happened. Yuki's eyes light up with some sort of realization. Her lips twitch faintly. So faintly I can't hear a word even though I'm literally on top of her. What was that? I lean in close and place my ear next to her lips. Ah! A sharp pain shoots through my earlobe. She uses that opportunity to shove me off. I regain my balance. Meanwhile, my ear hurts so bad I half wonder if she bit it clean off. The bat's lying at her feet. If I fight her one-on-one, -on -one, I don't stand a chance. But I have a trump card. I couldn't find the padlock key, but I did find her phone. Sorry, that's a no can do. I ignore her dash at full speed into the bathroom. <laughs> Holy shit. Miyuki yells at me through the door. Obviously, I'm not about to unlock the door for her. If I can't escape on my own, then I need to call for help and buy the time and buy time until they get here. I quickly get I quickly navigate Miyuki's phone. No service. I can't get through to 999. Was it a mistake to lock myself in here? Without any service, I can't call for help. I didn't plan for this, and I don't think I'll be able to slip past her if I try and run for it. So what are my options? Just pick a god and pray? My fingers come to a stop on the phone screen. There's only one entry in her address book. Whoever they are, it's listed under the name God. Who the heck is God supposed to be? 
I tap the check entry. Their phone number is 999-948-34899. Looks like a perfectly ordinary phone number to me. In my panic, I accidentally hit the wrong button. The phone starts to call God. It's out of service, so the call won't go through anyway. At least it shouldn't. What the? Did it actually connect? I can hear a voice on the other end of the line. Um... Is this... God? An... Amalgamation? An abstract. Apparently, Miyuki's realized that my call went through. I need to call for help fast. Okay. I don't care who you are, please. You gotta call for help. You know Miyuki, right? She's trying to attack me. D imprisoned? it off, but I can't. She put a padlock on the door and hit me with her bat. I don't know what to believe anymore. Wait a minute. Come to think of it, every time I sip the miso soup in the morning. Whoa! What the hell was that? The bathroom door just... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Do not stick your face through that fucking hole you just created. Please, for the love of God, I don't need to see that. I won't let you. The bathroom door creaks loudly. Yuki's watching a girl pour inside. cares about how we just hurry up and call the cops I can't believe my mans would say that holy shit so literally Aoi is just literally she's literally just out there this is just like a regular playthrough except I'm fucking drugged and going crazy with gamer brain what the fuck Enough, please, just help! She does? She's gonna come climbing through this whole fucking door. That hole is huge. Look, I can't help you, okay?
Miyuki rips the door off its hinges, swabs out the crowbar for her bat, and then positions herself in the doorway. I'm trapped. Please, just stop. Why are you doing this? <laughs> Miyuki laughs maniacally. そんなの。決まってるじゃない。君が私を愛してくれないからよ。どうして君は私の愛に応えてくれないの私こんなに君を愛してるのよ。愛してるの Oh God, Jesus, dude. God, I can't help but have some sympathy towards the woman. Is that just me? Going back in, going back in, going back in. I so agree. Can we just go back to the good old days, man? Miyuki hangs her head. It's starting to sound more and more appealing, it really is. But I can't, okay? I'm sorry, but the things you've done to Aoi, and to me, and everybody, you, you can't just destroy the universe like this. Especially because you're not even Monica. You're like actually just a normal person in this goddamn game. Fuck you! I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Oh. Stop! I hate hearing the tremble in your voice. It still hurts my heart regardless, okay, man? Everyone deserves love! <laughs> お願いなの。私にキスしてよ。そんなこと言わないで。お願い
葵に会いたいのだったらその気なら私にだって考えがあるわ Okay, but can it like not be, you know, 1v1 IRL? I, I really don't want to run around with you chasing me with a baseball bat. Oh no. Yo, this is completely like, you know, taking us out of the moment, but it looks like Miyuki's not wearing panties here. She, she is wearing pants, but like the way it's cut off, you just see her juicy thighs and then the top of her shirt. Looks like she's wearing no pants. Yeah, can we like settle this over a game of spleef or something? No! I would never forgive you if you do that! You hear me? You hear me? You can't do that! Uh, uh Miyuki? Miyuki ignores me and dashes out of the house. How did she unlock all of those freaking padlocks what's going on with her why'd she burst out into tears nothing she said makes any sense i decide to um i mean technically like both of these i think are like great answers but i think we should just try and find owie let's go look for owie that can't be right i was a video game character there's no way she exists in real life I guess I could go look for an Aoi figure or an Aoi pillowcase. And since Amyuki's gone, this is my one chance to get my hands on some merch. That's not important right now. No, my top priority is to... Oh, okay. Okay, I understand. That's what I thought. I was gonna say. I, I see. It's it's too diluted. Our, the main character is too dumb. This, if at least if we're following Miyuki, we're gonna then run into Aoi and she's about to get kablamoed! But then we go, no, bitch. We grab the fucking bat. We go, we sit the fuck down. This is my wife. Can't kill my wife. After all the crazy stuff she said, I'm worried about Miyuki. And I follow her out of the house. Hey, what the? My shoes are missing. I hastily dig through the shoe boxes in the closet and eventually find them all. Um, all the way in the back. Can't believe Miyuki went out of her way to put them all the way in the back here. As usual, she's a total neat freak. Why is she stealing her shoes, bro? It's weird. Oh, the outside world. We have made it. I'm outside. But where do I go from here? I have no destination in mind. Shinji? Wow! Oi, Shinji? Brother! Hey, you, it's a real perfect timing, man. Have you seen Miyuki anywhere? She's getting a, she was getting a little stir crazy, I think. Had to go outside for some fresh air, but I'm just a little concerned about her. Sone-san? Oh, school got it. Thanks, buddy. Oh, Shinji! Ah, just a little rough sex last night. All good, brother. What injuries? I'm fit as a fiddle. What? Sorry. We'll catch up later. Why? No time to talk right now. I pass a few. I pass by a few students on my way, learning more and more strange looks as I do. I gotta say, I probably shouldn't be this out of my breath already. I need to start an exercise routine or something. As the sun sets outside, I dash down the hallway to the classroom. She's not here, which means the roof, the roof, the roof, the roof, the roof, the roof. The roof! Miyuki! I open the door to the roof. There you are. Miyuki holds up her phone. Miyuki, what's gotten into you? You're acting kind of weird. Who? At this, I fall silent as commanded. Yeah. Mm. 
She looks at me sadly. And I find my gaze drawn to hers. A sudden gust of wind picks up. I look up to find dark storm clouds swirling in the sky above us where previously there had been only a sunset. プログラミングなんて初めてだったから慣れるまで時間が欲しかったのねだからあなたを監禁するところから始めたのYou... what? I can't begin to process what she's saying. Wait... Is Miyuki starting to blur the lines between fiction and reality? 神様にお願いして 現実と虚構の区別がつかなくなる薬を作ったわ。眠くなって朦朧となったでしょ。あなたはゲームの中の出来事を現実と誤認した。青いがゲームのヒロインだと認識した。This is crazy talk. Normally I would have just laughed it off. But something's not right. Something's happening. Something beyond the realm of my understanding. There's no way the world is a video game. There are no update patches in real life. Oh, <laughs> now he's a character in a video game. I'm not being held captive. Yuki can't tell the difference between fantasy and reality. That's all. None of this could possibly be true. And yet... And yet... Her signal transmits far beyond the furthest reaches of the sky. All I can do is stand there and watch it happen. What is even happening? The door opens. Someone staggers out. It's Aoi. I quickly catch her before she falls over. I can feel her full weight against mine. I can feel... Her weight? My sight warps. The world spins. Something's off. Something's not right. This is impossible. I mean, Aoi, she's... Isn't she just a video game character? Isn't she just a romance option in you and me and her? How could she be standing here in real life? How? This is a dream. Yeah. That's it. It must be a dream. It's gotta be a dream. Otherwise, none of this makes sense. I mean, if... If the Aoi I see before me isn't a video game character... If she actually exists. Miyuki. Tenma o kaisu. Te okure yo. Mou data wa okurareta. Anata wa mou sugu kono sekai kara kieru. And that means Miyuki's trying to erase someone who's real. So I pinch my cheeks as hard as I can. I want to wake up from this nightmare. Miyuki would never think to do such a thing! And yet, my cheeks are already numb from the pain. And I haven't woken up. This is real life. And Miyuki is trying to erase Aoi for real. <laughs> Aoi struggles to support her own weight. She leans against me to stay upright. You're vanishing! So... Miyuki, you gotta help her! As she whispers, I realize her voice is emotionless, as if she doesn't even care. You can't give up that quick! This isn't right! Well...
ただそれだけ次のルートに行けばいいのあおいあれバグなんでなんで涙が出るのそういうそういうイベントへん不思議こういう新一にあったのは初めてなのミユキ Why the hell are you doing this? This is all so fucked up! I'm fucked up? I pledged my internal love? What is she talking about? I don't remember anything like that. Her voice is barely a whisper. It takes everything I have just to make out the words. Remember what? Bring you back? What are you talking Struggles go in my mouth. She should have told me something. But her voice is. I don't know if she the rest of her. Her lips touch slightly. Abby loves you. Owie! Owie! My scream echoes in vain. She's just... gone. Sorry. I can't do anything for you. For you to be happy, I can't do anything for you. It is? Is this happiness to you? Liar. Your acting skills won't work on me. Shinichi? 
Your voice is shaking. Yes, it is. I quietly climb up the ladder. Miyuki averts her gaze. I walk right up to her. I don't know what to believe. I have no way to discern the truth. But there's one thing I do know. Miyuki. Step by step, I approach her. Shinichi? Another step. And then another. What I will my heart not to pound out of control. Shinichi? Gently, I pull her close. <sighs> Yuki closes her eyes, and I bitch slap the fuck out of her. And I snatch the damn phone out of her hand, that's right, get the fuck out of here, bitch! Complain like a fiddle! You've been fucking with my emotions all goddamn day! It's my turn now, bitch! Time to make a run for it. Quick while her eyes are still closed. Oh, she didn't even realize. <laughs> get fucked, bitch! I run until she can't find me anymore. As I apologize internally to Miyuki. I bolt full speed down the stairs. <laughs> I didn't trick you for the fun of it, believe me. But... <laughs> Yo, you hear this fucking music, dude? This is revenge music right here, baby. Miyuki erased Aoi from reality. I don't know what happened. Or how she was able to do it in the first place. But I can't let that slide. Yuki's messed up, man. But she's an old friend of mine, and my girlfriend. Which means I have to be the one to fix this. <laughs> Where's that metal baseball bat? Where's the sound effect? I'll pass! Thanks! Now to leave school. <clears throat> I know these doors were wide open when I came in. But now they're closed for some reason. Sure there is. If I can't get out the front, I'll just have to... This can't be right. I'm running like my life depends on it. But she's not even out of breath. How? How did she catch up to me so easily? I dash through the twisted world, clutching Miyuki's phone in hand. But I can't escape. The back entrance, the gym, the connecting corridor, they're all locked up tight! And the window won't open either. There's no way out. That's impossible. And yet, sure enough, I'm trapped here. Yuki's voice finds me no matter where I go. I have no sense of distance anymore. No matter where I run, I can practically see Miyuki looming up ahead. No. Huh. I hastily turn back. Miyuki doesn't seem to be in the slightest bit of hurry, and yet she beats me to the punch every time. At this rate, I'll never escape her. That's it! I don't need to run! My objective is to bring Aoi back to reality. So I just need to buy some time until I can make a phone call. I half open the door. Uh, a half open door catches me. I dash in the classroom and clo carefully close the door so it doesn't make any sound. Oh my god, we're locking ourselves in a goddamn classroom. This isn't our classroom. It's a first year classroom, one that I've never set foot in. Now that I'm here, Miyuki shouldn't be able to see me, which means I should have enough time to call Aoi. <laughs> Miyuki's footsteps persist. How? How does she know what floor I'm on? It's almost like she knows where I'll go in advance. Wait, what am I doing? I don't have time to worry about that. I hide behind the teacher's like, oh my god. Hide behind the teacher's desk and take out Miyuki's phone. The worst place to hide, man. Before she disappeared, she told me to use her code number. And that number is... Dude, I'm still not 100% sure, but I'm going with my gut, man. 999. 
0523-0523. Please tell me that my brain has not forsaken me. Please work! <laughs> Wrong! You're kidding me! I was confident I put in the right number. But the call won't go through. How oh, he's not coming back, and yet... Why? The heck is a backlog? What on earth is she talking about? Is there really no way I can bring Aoi back? Is there no way to save Miyuki? No. Akira Mete, Natashita. Kono 